I'm Greta Ernst. I'm an R&D engineer at the Ocean Cleanup. My job is mainly to um, monitor the system performance, look through the numbers, um, evaluate everything and come up with, uh, with ideas how we can improve our operation. So uh, the next two days we will be busy uh, deploying the system, um, making it longer and longer. Then yeah, we will start towing. For the very first time we will open the longer system. We will get a first impression how it looks like, uh, about the size. The way we are deploying right now, that is uh, new for us. We are deploying from each vessel. We haven't done that last year, so this is all new for us. The crews are learning how to do it. Um, you cannot tell really because everyone just keeps on working, but we are at a pretty significant point uh, in our project because we have already a longer system in the water right now than we have ever before. Uh, we have about a thousand meters of wings in the water this very moment. So. Yeah, it is pretty exciting. It's getting larger. It's happening. What we will do uh, in a bit, we will deploy uh, the rest of the wings from the big drum of the, of the anchor handler here. Uh, that is a trial we started last trip um, to speed up uh, the deployment by doing this. Well, I think it's always very useful to see the things in, in real life that you are working on. And it is, uh, it is very special for me. It's hard to put that in words because I see the, the dedication um, of, of all these guys here on board. Um, these are the people that make it happen. That's pretty cool. So uh, you might need to move your spooling gear a little bit to starboard. But... Behind us um, is the system with 1,300 meters now. What we are doing currently is we are adjusting the span of the system. So um, the vessels uh, changing the distance to each other and we are checking the span, the opening of the system and we are trying to find the, the perfect position for the tow. And at the same time, uh, we are monitoring the load on our tow lines to see um, if that is in line with the simulations that we've done over winter time. It is big. It is much bigger than we had last year but just looking around me it's still pretty small compared to the ocean we are in to be honest. So my name is Sebastián Orue, I am the uh, Protected Species Observer on board, one of uh, three different biologists that are working on this project and our work is basically to monitor uh, the area and the retention zone for protected species and to implement mitigation actions to protect uh, those animals. We have several different uh, safety mechanisms for wildlife here, you know, and, and the skiff is one of them. But yeah, it's a technological device, you know, like the floating raft that is connected to the cameras and the lights and which sends a signal back to the vessels. And we can monitor the cameras from here. Okay, so 2257, yes? So when the system gets longer and longer, of course, we expect to catch more and more plastic. But the extractions, they will be roughly the same size as we had last year because we decided to increase the frequency. So we will have more extractions per trip. Feeling good. We got lots of uh, more than we expected on the deck. Uh, 
another thing is that we now split uh, the extractions between both vessels. So the workload is divided between two crews. But now I'm standing here right in front of it and it is, it's a massive pile of plastic. The noise of the plastic cracking when it, when it falls on the deck, uh, it is pretty satisfying, I have to admit. 